Some of the first memories of my dad building boats were out behind the house. We had a boat house that uh, was literally right out the back door. So we would go out and I remember taking Kool-Aid out to the guys who were working. I remember having little paint, blue paint actually. We were painting the bottom of the Miss Virginia Beach. I remember the smell of juniper. And um, oddly enough, I remember how big his shoulders and his hands were. <laughs> from uh, lifting all of the wood and putting everything in place. Everything was hand planked and just the smells of childhood is really, I have a piece of juniper on my desk right now because it reminds me of when I was younger. Having grown up here on the island, uh, at that point in time, there was there was two categories of, of folks. One were the ones who built boats, and the others were the ones who used those boats. And uh, at that point in time, very, very little recreation as far as the use of the boat. They were primarily commercial purposes. And from, from that heritage is derived the idea that if it doesn't serve a function on the boat, then it doesn't need to be there. Also at that time, it's, it's primarily the function was strength, simplicity, and the seaworthiness. Something you can build that will last for a long time, for generations, take care of you, bring, carry you out and bring you back safely. If I had to say something about the company and the boats, when I first came and talked to Linwood about coming to work here, he said he was in this for the long haul. And I think that that describes the way our boats are, that they're built for the long haul. This area, I guess, is, has been known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. And, uh, you know, having worked on the water, after or during the period in which I was building boats, I also worked commercially on the water for the better part of four years. And uh, you, the weather doesn't dictate, in many cases, whether you go out or not. It's the need to go, and is the catch there. So, you go, and you need a trustworthy, dependable boat in order to make sure that, again, you go safely, you return, but it doesn't work for you while you're there. And from that, from that heritage came the idea of, of our boats, you know, back in the early 80s or the late 70s when we began to build fiberglass boats. It was the same idea, is build a boat that's strong and build a boat that is easy to maintain and one that even for recreational purposes, more there than you actually need. And we do that even till today. We would enjoy and welcome others to join the Parker family. You know, and there's multiple ways that you can do that, right? Most definitely. You can, you can um, take a plant tour and give us a call. Um, everyone's available to, to answer any questions that you have. Uh, you can also go on the website and you can look through the website and you can become familiar not only with our heritage but with the boat models that we have.